yeah, yeah. One more time around. Everything's slowing down. Can't control it. Say that you're for me. Right now I need loyalty. It's hard for me to trust you. I've been in before this. I've been through the troubles. It's hard to let you in. I've been giving you the runaround. I double on the doses. I don't need emotion. No. Right now we young and we dumb and we lit. Been thinking back before when we was kids. Yeah. I was caught up in the mist. And we live for the moment, respond to a calling. It's bigger than all of us, right to the wheels. Give anything to feel something new. High if I fall, no, I did going all in. At the time of my life, right for the squad. The lights through the fog, but we made it. Yeah. I'd be good by the morning. Feel like I'm falling. That I overcharge, got these rap niggas' eyes open, glaring, cause they over jealous. I'm so overzealous. Whiskey side with the rosemary. And used to want it, not a whole step. And that was back before I could afford a care. Now we are on course to take the tour to Paris. What's going on, everybody? It's Jen, one third of the Clean Theory. Hope everybody is doing good. So I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little minute. We not just arrived in Vegas, but arrived in Vegas at maybe 10 something West Coast time. I got here and tried to uh, do early check-in everything was booked so we had to wait around until 4 p.m which was you know which was a lot the flight from uh, dc to vegas was like over four hours and i get really claustrophobic when it comes to uh, small spaces over a long period of time i can't even drive you know for a couple hours without just feeling like i gotta i gotta get out of here i gotta get out and stretch my legs or something so we um flew and it was really cramped inside and it was the worst but anyway i was next to a, a wonderful grandma she wiped down my whole tray area my seat area for me she gave me a jolly rancher great flavor <laughs> and when i dropped my phone she made sure that the lady behind me uh looked for my phone uh, you better get her phone you see her phone get her phone now she needs a phone so that was awesome and throughout everything throughout the whole flight we were talking so that was very, really sweet love love sweet grandmas got here checked in to the nobu hotel which is located inside of caesar's palace and um put our bags to the side and then we uh walked around till our room was ready we passed by some of the um shops here in caesar's palace you know, you had uh, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, YSL, Tiffany, all that good stuff. I think I might hit up YSL before I leave because I need a, a crossbody everyday black bag. The one I have is too small for everything I need to carry. Or I might hit up Tiffany's and get some some uh, some pieces before I leave. If uh, anybody knows me, they know that I love art and jewelry. That's what I like to spend my money on. All that designer other uh, stuff and it, you can have it. Just give me some good art and some good jewelry just every now and then a purse so what do we do after we um, saw the shops i went into victoria's secret got a couple undergarments then i went we walked around and we went to the, the food court that they have here in caesar's palace really nice food court really great decor ended up getting some pizza not good at all. Pizza was not good. It was surprising surprising how bad the pizza was. I got a couple slices of cheese. They're substantial in size, but the flavor, uh, not mem memorable at all. After that, we walked around some more. Went to this awesome uh, sock shop. 
got my kids some um, Naruto socks and some Ricky, Rick and Morty. I think it's called Rick and Morty socks that my oldest loves. So that's going to be um, part of their Christmas present, Christmas present. Then a little later on, we walked and came upon a bar called Alto and got a couple drinks. So the first drink I got was a St. Germain. A drink that has St. Germain in it. St. Germain is my favorite uh, liquor. I like the elderberry. When I do drink, I like, you know, the lightweight, sweetie type drinks. I'm not, you know, that hardcore, the straight shots. Give me something, you know, fruity and flowery and girly. And, you know, I'm a lightweight, so it is what it is. The second drink I got was a cucumber drink. Very refreshing. Um, really tasty. And me and the hubs just chilled out and watched the Georgia and Alabama game. Last I saw... Alabama was blowing them out. And then we came to our room, which is beautiful. Uh, I love the wood accents in the bathroom. The uh, bed was big and uh, luxurious, very comfortable looking. And we have a pretty good view. You can see some of the strip from our room, so that's pretty cool. So what we wanna do now is get showered up. I think that I was gonna throw in something cute, but you know, I'm tired y'all, so I might just refresh and throw in another sweatsuit. This OOTD is a tie-dye gray sweatsuit from, uh, just basic from the, the Gap factory store and some black vans, just kept it real cool for the plane. I always have my hair tied up when I'm on a plane, when I'm out and about, because if you have locks, you know that's a lint magnet, so Anybody with locks, just make sure you tie your hair up uh, for the most part. Not all the time, but you know, most times to most times to minimize the the lint accumulation. Let's see. I did see Yelp had pretty good reviews on a hookah bar. So, you know, me and my friends love hookah. So we're going to see what's going on with the well me we, meaning my hubs and I, are gonna see what's going on with the hookah bar and get some uh, maybe get some finger food while we're there. Also want to get sit down and I eat some dinner, have some good conversation, and trip out with the hubs. Um, come back and uh, get some sleep. And tomorrow we are waking up to uh, go to the Raiders Washington football team game. So that should be that should be pretty good. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Clean Theory DC. Go ahead and follow us on Facebook, The Clean Theory DC. And follow us on IG, The Clean Theory DC. Of course, I had to plug us. Always got to plug us. Always got to plug the, the BFFs and, you know, the wives. Hope everybody is having a good night. And I will see y'all probably in a couple hours. And another store that we went into while we waited for our room to get ready was a store I never heard of. It's called Urban Necessities. It's a massive, massive shoe store. It looked like it had thousands of tennis shoes on the wall. I also had some clothes in the back. And I, I was just overwhelmed. But I found this one pair of Jordans that I really liked. And I asked a salesperson to get it for me. It took about 30 minutes for my shoe to come down. I guess they have to send for it and it comes downstairs but here's the kicker though when i got the shoe i wasn't allowed to try it on what kind of issue is that they said it was covid um restrictions or something you couldn't try the shoe on now people kill me with that using covid as a reason to enforce these these crazy rules like i can't try on a shoe because of covid make it make sense anywho so that was trash um i wasn't going to pay that type of money for some jordans and i wasn't able to put my foot in them to make sure i i could fit them and there wasn't no return policy so even if it didn't fit I couldn't return it. Get out of here. Trash. Yo, less ego and more soul. Trying to make it clear like a sore throat. They too concerned about my wardrobe, but they going broke. We've been praying for it, only Lord knows. Just got an invoice. Had about four O's. Pick the lock when the doors close. This is my house. F a foreclose. We staying in control. F the hormones. Come outside the hood, look like a war zone. Come fuzz my check everything watch your jaw bunch back then they used to call her jaw bone we was little freaks watching porno going crazy with the hormones now we paying car notes lighting up like charcoals lost a couple homies but i meet them at the crossroads ice on the hoodies gotta ship them out like cargo back in high school rock the polo with the cargos take a trip to dad grandma ursi had the car for i need like six rings like the bulls in chicago because yeah. we be out here three p.m pumping fan they hard
what you can hear beating. Schooling all them and we still teaching. Wanna talk biz, we can set the meeting. Light is up, yeah, we still chiefing. You be lucky if you still breathing. Always think before you start speaking. With yourself, you be still beefing. Cause they ain't real, they just real misleading. Trying to read me, but you misreading. Yeah, we in the bunker, rolling up some skunk up. Laying down tracks, you can hear the hunger. Every day is numbered and we ain't getting younger. So I uh, apply pressure like a damn plunger. They ain't for the culture, they all vultures, they all vulgar. We need structure for these youngsters. They all pumped up, pushing dumpsters. See a cop and rush them. We need change, but we all flustered. It been this way since they call us color. For about 10 summers, DJ Mustard. The revolution still loading like it got a buffer. Now we gotta wear a mask to keep our face covered. And they shooting us with bullets that's rubber. We gotta be the keeper for our brother. How we supposed to come together? It's families that can't recover. Still in mourning while we gotta suffer. This the beginning till we see another. Another. Used to push up like an Impala with some tent. My note was almost more than half my rent. All my money went to one expense. I know that don't make no kind of sense. Back then I used to drive off Mason. Those cops not used to the faces. We got, they would run my plates in. We stopped, but I just left work while I restocked. But they see my whip and see pots on my outfit. They think treetop got a head. Good morning, y'all. What's going on? What you doing? Chilling? I hope so. Listen. So last night I had uh, big plans to, what did I say I was going to do? Go out, well, throw in a fresh outfit, go out, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. But the fact of the matter is that we are three hours behind here in Vegas and I was on East Coast time still. So um, me and the hubs just hopped up. We walked along the strip saw the sights what else did we do we got something to eat from a really cool ramen place I'm not sure of the name but you'll see the footage uh, as i'm talking can't remember what kind of broth it is his was you know savory the broth was savory really good my broth not so much I had to add like a pound of salt so it's kind of blown over that but the customer service was great the waitress everybody was really nice i had a nerve to get a shot of hot sake just to uh, top the night off and later on i figured out yeah that's what took me out of here because when i got back it wasn't unpopping it was just pretty much you know lights out so we uh, had that I walked around a little bit more went to I think it's called um, Millions, Million Shops, or Shops of Millions. Can't really remember the name. I walked in because I needed to get some shoes. So I walked into Champs, I wanna say. Saw some Hirachis that I really liked. They had my size, but for some reason, all the Hirachis were wrinkled at the toe. It was between a pink pair and like a brownish pair. And if you get Hirachis, always order, not one size, but two sizes up. The cut is crazy, it's extra, extra small. I wear a seven in women's, so I had to get a nine. A nine in women's fit me perfectly with Hirachis. So I had to pass on those because I wasn't gonna pay $120 for some brand new shoes that were already wrinkled. After that, well, that was a bust, so I was blown um, because the vans that I have is not uh, conducive for walking around the strip and my feet were hurting. Um, let's see. So after that, we went to, I needed something sweet. So we went to this place called um, Sweet as Sin, and that did it. I got macaroons, chocolate chip cookie, and some pumpkin cheesecake. I have I took a little bit of the chocolate chip cookie when I got back to the room. It was all right. But the star of the show was definitely the macaroons more specifically the pistachio because it had this great texture. I've never had a macaroon this this good. And I had, you know, the ones from Bouchon Bakery and it doesn't compare. I got pistachio, almond, and strawberry. Holly recommend the pistachio because of the texture. Really great texture. Second is almond. Don't recommend the strawberry. Wasn't really feeling the texture. Anywho, so we're gonna go back there and I'm gonna get about six more straight pistachio macaroons. Yep, six. What else do we do? So I uh, got back here and 
you know, was going to watch some TV, chill out with the hubs. And he said, <laughs> and he said I was knocked out. I was just, he had to just take my shoes off and put me in a bed. That's what I get for being grown. The sake doesn't get you drunk until later, 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 later. So by the time I was, you know, walking back to the room, I was out of it. You know, that's what I get for trying to be grown, but it's all good. I'm on a vacation. So today is a big day. We were up at like four in the morning. Like I said, three hours behind. So it was like our bodies automatically wake up around around seven something. Woke up, realized it was still pitch dark outside. Went back to sleep, tried to go back to sleep. Um, then we got up and got some breakfast delivered from Pronto by Giada. I had the Caprice omelet. He had the all American breakfast and uh, we had lemon roasted potatoes. Those are really good. And so now I'm gonna head out and go to the outlets. I still need to get some, some shoes. My, my feet are killing me. Hopefully there's success there. Then we're going to do a little more shopping. I might get my purse today, I'm not sure, but we're gonna hit up the Redskins and Raiders game today. So that should be fun. That'll be a good chunk of our day. And I'll see some uh, former coworkers there as well. And go to a steakhouse after the game and make some more macaroons most likely. But of course I'll be taking you guys with me on all that when I do all that stuff. So I will see you then. Let the day begin. Really ain't got no passing rights, really none into the afterlife. A green card that ended the black card, but the Amex only give me bragging rights. And we still don't travel as a team no more, cause we can't get our baggage right. And the structure in which our face gets structured make us seem more savage. Like we curse like Cain, and it hurt like pain. No, it hurt like Wayne when he was hurt by Bane. And they heard my screams, but they ignored my tears, and it felt like hell. And it looked like rain when they passed those laws, but it still ain't changed. I still look the same, especially when I sway, sway, sway. Yeah. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best yes, I cop that crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest mm -hmm. And it's okay to do your thing, but just don't do the most uh -huh. I put my friends in that old Benz and took that to the coast that. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I do the best yes, I filled my mattress, paid my taxes, then I blew the rest right. And it's okay to do your thing, but just don't do the least uh -huh. I quit my boss and cooked that sauce and fed that to the streets mm -hmm. Uh, sliding it like a wet flow Already fried from the get-go Alligators look like gecko Everything I do, they echo Big facts, my bank on big man My drip too wet, that spit can Yo, swap me like Q-tips Hold that there like dip can No rehearse, need no reverb Hold your lip, don't say three words Quick trip to get that lick lick Broad tree fur if you prefer Quick ride, no time, I'm in there She clockwise, real good skincare No TikTok for Fortune from my foresight, investment brought me four bands. Don't roll rage, I give. We'll wheel all by your forehead. Them city John be like he lit. Them country girls be like go ahead. If I ain't that man, then I gotta be more than human. How you mean? Funny how the people back then who was hating on a kid always talking about how you clean. Put a little gas in the blunt and I don't pass broke. Just please be cool, but I can't blame ya. I won't shame ya. I probably wanna be me too. It yeah. ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best. Yes. I cop that crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest. And it's okay to do your thing, but just don't do the most. Hey guys. So let's do a recap of the day. This morning, uh, I did a rundown of everything that I planned on doing. Got most of it accomplished except for um, one thing. So uh, starting from the beginning, had uh, uh, some breakfast from a pronto by uh, Giada. Then after breakfast, we just waited around um, for a little bit because the time difference is, you know, uh, so much of a gap here that, you know, uh, we're thinking that it's 7 a.m., but we're on 10 a.m. time. So our bodies were thrown off a little bit. So we had breakfast. 
waited around a little bit and I had to go to um, get some shoes. Like I said, these vans are not for walking and they were killing my feet. So uh, we went to the premium outlets and um, I think it's called Premium Outlets South. They had all types of store there. Tory Burch, um, they had Balenciaga. Did they have Balenciaga? I think they may have had Balenciaga. Um, they had Ferragamo. They had all types of stores. I was just trying to focus on a, shoe, a tennis shoe store. So I found this place called SP Shoe Palace. And I was thinking it was gonna be something like a famous footwear. But when I went in, you know, the store was definitely popping at a great selection. The sales associate was wonderful. It was only his second day, but he was very doting and um, made sure that I got everything that I needed. So I wanted to see if I could get uh, the Harachis again, but it seems like all of them do come with that little bit of a wrinkle in the toe and my feet were hurting so bad that I just, you know, um, I want to say take the L because you know I love them, but I just you know let it pass and got the Harachis. If you buy Harachis, make sure you go up two sizes. I'm usually a seven, had to get a nine, and also tried on some uh, Adidas top tens, uh, the old school Patrick Ewing joints. I uh, got those in uh, kid size as well. I wanted to get the platform Converse in white, but they only had black, so I didn't get those. So my feet were really happy about that. I was able to do more walking and um, my mood was a lot better. You know how it is when you walk around with your feet hurting. You're not trying to hear nothing from nobody. What did we do after that? After we left the um, mall, came back to the hotel, dropped the bags off. We were walking around with a lot of bags. I sat around for maybe a, a half an hour or so and then we walked well, took a lift to the uh, stadium. Uh, the Raider Stadium is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful building. 1.23 billion to build, I want to say. And we were walking there. We saw all the tailgating. We saw all the trash talking. It was great. People in the uh, parking lot cooking out, playing music, doing their thing, doing everything that you do at football games. So we get inside. And um, I had a really small purse, purse probably like about about this big. And they said that I had to check my purse. My purse was too big. So I had to walk back across the parking lot, check my purse. I was a little blown about that, but ended up being all good. Uh, the hub was able to store his jacket in the locker, so it worked out. Then we got to uh, the stadium, gorgeous stadium inside had an um, uh, enclosed stadium, has a dome, uh, well, a roof that can be opened. Uh, and today, well, today it was uh, closed, so that was pretty cool because it was probably gonna get a little uh, colder as the day went on. Uh, met up with some of uh, my former coworkers, Polly and uh, Kevin. It was cool to see both of them. Um, if you saw the game on TV, it was a good game. It was uh, close for a little bit. Redskins almost, well, Washington football team almost lost at the very end, but he ended up pulling it off, so the Hubs had a good day. There was a lot of trash talking at the games. I'm not going to any more uh, games, I don't think. I mean, it was the tension was a little too thick. I mean, people get really emotional about the games, and my husband is a needler, so one dude looked like he was on the verge of tears, and my husband just needling them, like, and I'm like, man, I ain't doing that, so I gotta get back home to the kids. You can sit out here and fight if you want to, so I don't think I'm doing that. No. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that anymore. Uh, I'm not getting red skin checks. Neither are you, so you know, you really shouldn't be fighting for this organization. Anywho, after we walked back from Raiders Stadium, we went to the room to, you know, chill out for a little while because that was a really long walk getting back to our hotel. And we also made reservations at Bugsy and Myers. It's a nice little steakhouse that got really good reviews. So we had to wait around until our reservation uh, was ready. And in the meantime, while we were waiting, I went to Sweet Ascend again. Absolutely 
absolutely sure did to get some more macaroons just to make sure they were as awesome as they were the first time and they absolutely were i'm happy to report the service at bugsy and myers was absolutely wonderful the my food was good the hubs did not like his steak said right then and there he's tired of getting these overpriced steaks and they're under seasoned and uh, they lack any type of flavor so he made a vow right there not to mess with overpriced steaks anymore and i feel him on that and after we finished dinner we went over to the ysl store i was not able to record inside but it did let me take some pictures inside and once i saw the purse that i knew i was going to get i did a double take and that's usually how i can tell that i really really like something when i see it and i you know i can't stop thinking about it so he ended up hooking me up with that purse it was a wonderful uh, christmas gift thank you so much for that and after that we went back up to the room i'll do an unboxing of the purse in, in a little bit and tomorrow we're going to get up walk the strip a little bit more get some breakfast and you know get ready to head back home so check out this unboxing right now three two one beautiful black bag Um, bigger than what I actually had. I put my camera equipment in and stuff. This is lambskin, super duper soft. Gold hardware. Still has the blue coating on the, on the magnet. Gold chain hardware accents. Pretty roomy inside. And it has a zipper inside. I don't know if you can see it. Whenever you do a double take, that means it's for you. Doubt means don't. Remember that. Doubt means don't. This is called the... It's not telling me the name of it. I don't know the exact name of it, but I will put it up on the screen. I do a little more research. But here it is. She's pretty, super happy. Thanks to the hubs. Buttery, buttery. Talks is the clean theory, clean spirit, homes and lives when you feel feeling weary. The space is safe to purge and re-emerge. We hope you feel the urge on the verge to stay driven while looking at the lives of three dope black women. No topics forbidden, raw, bearing our souls. We got love for everybody, even some for you trolls. Talking life, lost love, how to get to the bag. The clean theory, Mo Gen Lee talks. It's the hashtag. Hashtag. 